Hi everyone, this is Carmen again, here to talk about mental health. Today I want to talk to you about depression and suicide because it's something that's been afflicting our children every day. Um, depression and suicide continue to affect and afflict our teens and our young children. When it comes to teens, When it comes to teens, untreated depression is the, like the pathway to suicide. We need to learn the science of suicide and depression so that we can better help our own children. Today, I'm happy to say that I am very um, proud of my daughter. She goes to the local high school and Today, I want to say that I'm very proud of my daughter. She did something today that every child should learn how to do, and that is to say something. When a friend came up to her and told her that she wanted to commit suicide, my daughter took action, and this is what children are supposed to do. She immediately went to the counselor at the school and told on her friend. Um, I am very proud of her for that. That's, that's the right thing to do, right? But um, her friend is not happy with her. But one day she's going to appreciate my daughter and know that she did that to save her life. I would want someone, a friend of my daughter, to tell me if my daughter talks about suicide, right? So I am very proud of her for that. The school called me this morning, the school counselor, to talk to me about what she did. And that had its own effect on her as well. She's dealing with depression and anxiety, panic attacks, psychosis. She, by telling her friend, by telling her friend, she developed some triggers herself about those feelings of sadness maybe, and maybe even suicidal thoughts. Um, the counselor was helping her through this, and I am very happy that you know he called me to let me know what my daughter was going through. I told him that I thank him very much and that I appreciate what he does for my daughter. And these are the things that we have to do as mothers. We have to reach out to the school so that the school can reach out to us when our children are in trouble in school. And I'm not saying trouble because they got into a fight. I'm saying mental problems, <laughs> okay? There's a lot of signs and symptoms that we have to look for in depression because like I said, depression is the pathway to suicide if it's left untreated, okay? Um, here in my town from November 2008 to, to April 2009, four teenagers took their own lives. It was a big news here in my town and a lot of prevention was put in place, intervention, prevention, counseling, um, the community came together, the school developed a task force to talk about ways to prevent it. Um, and all that helped and things got better after that. Too bad that we had to lose four young people, you know? And I believe that everybody knows somebody that have committed suicide. If you don't know somebody, maybe your child does know somebody because it's been something that's been afflicting us forever, okay? Many people don't like to talk about it but it's always in the news, if you see the news as well. So let's talk to our children, right, about when they hear something or they feel that something is not right with their friends or maybe cousins, family, say, say something, you know? It's okay if they get mad at you, but you're doing the right thing, okay? Um, I'm gonna talk about some of the warning signs of um, suicide. And one of the signs is, you know, having no interest to do things that they used to like to do. And um, talking about death and dying. Feeling down all the time, isolating. An overwhelming feeling of nobody cares, you know. Um, behavioral signs. Verbal signs. And even when something stressful happens in the family, like the loss of a loved one, that can trigger the thought of suicide as well. Sometimes we don't think about 
how we affect the child that a friend died or even a pet. But it's always good to, you know, acknowledge the grief, you know, and and acknowledge that it was a loss and that reassuring the child that everything is going to be okay. Life goes on, okay, and he has to go on. So as parents, we always have to be in alert because we cannot put our guards down when it comes to mental health. We cannot put our guards down when it comes to our children and their wellness, okay? So be looking out for any signs that the child's giving away his belongings. I mean, why would they do that? As adults, why would we give something out that we want, right? It doesn't make sense. Only if we're thinking about dying. We don't care anymore about those things, right? Um, not eating, you know, if the child doesn't want to eat or the teen. Or maybe eating too much because they don't care about their appearance. That's a that's a warning sign too, you know. And for me as a mother, I think that what works best is talking to my child, you know, and, and facing her and asking her, yeah, are you okay? You know what I mean? Um, do you want to talk about anything? How was today at school? And just giving her, um, reassuring her that I, I'm here. You know what I mean? I'm here for her. So talk to your child, you know, be looking out for those warning signs. And then, um, you know, if you have teens, make sure they have that number for um, um, the suicide prevention num hotline. And it's um, 1-800-273-8255. one 273 8255 that's the number um, uh, 8255 is talk so that's 24-7 and when they call this number there's going to be someone at the end of the line that's going to talk to them and listen to them so sometimes they don't want to talk to us but it's okay it doesn't matter who they reach out to the thing is that they do reach out to somebody okay so um, thank you for listening again um, like my video if you like my video and leave a comment if there's anything you want me to talk about that interests you about mental health. And like I said, um, I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a licensed therapist. I'm just a mom that's concerned and want to bring a little bit of awareness of mental health, about mental health, into other people that might not have the same knowledge or have the same experiences as I had in my career. And just to make a difference, you know? So... Take care and God bless you. Bye.